Hi, this is Cameron Salmon here to show you how to make a cheap PCB drill press, as you can see here. Here's an example. As you can see, it went straight through the circuit board. First, I put on my safety gear and cut four pieces of wooden planks measuring 20 millimeters. I then proceeded to clean up the big mess I made. I put the wooden planks into a picture frame and super glued them together. Then cut a copper tube using a tube cutter to the size that would fit inside the wooden frame. Cut two small pieces of wood with drilled holes to fit a wooden screw through it. Smooth it out using a filer and sandpaper. Wow, what a mess. I should probably clean up. Then proceed to put the wooden screws through one of the cutted wood and put a fitting tube with aluminum foil tape around it in the middle of the wood and screw it down tight, but not too tight. Don't do what I just did there. Luckily I have a spare right here. Screwing it in, but not too, too tight. Now as you can see here, it is stuck in place, but it still wobbles side to side. To fix that problem, just super glue the fitting tube to the wooden planks. Slide the copper tube through the fitting tube. My drill came with a drill stand, so I just marked the holes on the wood drilled a hole through the wood and screwed it directly onto the wood. As you can see here. Put on the drilled chuck and make sure it's tight. Now we need to put a wooden screw on the top of the drill in the back and we need to put it on the top of the wooden frame. Super glue the copper tube to the middle of the wooden frame. Put a spring on the two screws which will hold the drill up and provide smoother contact with your printed circuit board. Cut some more wood to make the stand for the drill press, as seen here. Now let's super glue this baby together.
And there we go, a PCB drill press, homemade, cheap, and I think it's pretty good. Now let's test this bad boy out. There we go, right through the circuit board. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and follow. If you didn't like this video, don't do anything. Please comment below if you have any tutorials you want me to go through.